<laughs> All right, we're off to Bible Club week six, right, Simon? Okay. Let's start with prayer. All right, Sarah, let's put this down. Put it down. Let's put our hands together. Let's pray. Simon, what are the rules for Bible Club? We need to be quiet, don't we? Okay, let's pray. All right, thank you, Lord, for gathering us here. Pray, Lord, that the uh, story will be a blessing to the children today. And I pray that you'll help them to learn and help them to have fun during the activity. And we thank you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, do you remember the three rules? Three rules. Do you remember the three rules? What's the first one, Simon? Listen to the bishop. Listen to the bishop. That's right. So we pay attention, we listen when the bishop's talking. What's rule number two? Timothy. Put your hand up if you want to say something. Yeah, that's one of the rules. That's right. We put our hand up if you want to say something. <laughs> Good job. And what's the last one? <laughs> we need to sit quietly, right? Sit quietly during Bible club. Okay? Yeah. Oh, you're talking without putting your hand up? Ah, I forgot the rule already. Okay, today we're going to be learning about the book of Deuteronomy. Simon, can you say that? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. What does Deuteronomy mean? Deuteronomy means second law. It's the second time the law was given. So we're going to look at the first and greatest commandment today. But let me tell you a bit of a background, what happened in Deuteronomy. So if you remember when we learned about Exodus, do you remember Moses went up into the mountain? And what did he get when he was in the mountain? Who can remember? What did Moses get when he was in the mountain? Remember the two tablets? The two stone tablets with the Ten Commandments. Remember when he came down, his face was so bright, he had to put a veil over his face? There he is, that's right. And then people couldn't see him. They're like, oh, he's too bright. So he had to put a veil over his face. <laughs> And then when they were going to go into the promised land, what happened? We learned last week, the spies went in, didn't they? To go spy out the land to see if God had delivered it to them. And they came back with a big cluster of grapes. And Joshua and Caleb said, God has given us the land. But what did the ten spies say? The ten spies discouraged them from going in, saying they made everyone scared, didn't they? And who did the people listen to? Did they listen to the two good spies or the ten bad spies? What do you think? Timothy? The ten bad spies. The ten bad spies. Who do you think they should have listened to? Who do you think, Sarah? Two. The two good spies. That's right, because they were telling them to follow God and the rest were telling them not to. So because they listened to the ten bad spies, God made them wander in the wilderness for 40 years until all the people that listened to the ten bad spies, they all died in the wilderness. They weren't allowed to go in. And then, remember God had to count them all again to divide up the land. So now we get to Deuteronomy, and they're going to, this time, the generation that came up after this generation, now they're going to go into the promised land. Right? So Moses, to the generation that raised up after, the, after them, He's giving them the law again. He's teaching them the Ten Commandments and all the laws that God gave him when he went up to the mountain to go meet God. God gave him Ten Commandments, but he also gave him a whole bunch of other commandments too. So this is what happens in Deuteronomy. It's the next generation that comes up after all the first generation died. The next generation came up who's going to go into the Promised Land. So Moses is now teaching them the commandments and our verse for today is what we learn in Deuteronomy is we learn the first and greatest commandment what is the first and great commandment Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 and thou shalt love the Lord thy God what does thou mean thou thou means you sit down Thou means you. It doesn't just mean all, all of you. It means you, as in you, Simon. Love the Lord thy God. You, Sarah. Love the Lord thy God with all thine heart. Lo thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart. Where's your heart? Here? Yeah? 
and with all thy soul, that's who you are. And with all thy might, what's might? Uh, yeah, your strength, that's right. Uh, look at Abel, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, biceps. <laughs> all right, let's say this together. You ready? Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. Again, heart, your soul is who you are. And what you might, might. Do it again. Heart, with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your might. Yeah. <laughs> So Jesus taught us in the New Testament that this is the first and great commandment. And the second commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. So just as much as you love yourself, the Bible tells us we should love others as we love ourselves. This is what Jesus taught when he was here. He taught the people. Somebody came to him and said, what is the first and great commandment? And he said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. And you know what he said? He said, On this hang all the law and the prophets. So he's saying, When you keep all of God's commandments, that's how you love. Right? So we love people by keeping God's commandments. So if we're breaking God's commandments, we're not loving people. So what happens when you're being, not being nice to your brother and sister? Are you loving God? No. What happens if you're disobeying mommy and daddy? Are you loving God? No, you're not loving God. What happens when you're being naughty? You know, when you tell a lie? Are you loving God? No, see? So, in order to love God, we have to keep his commandments. That's what Jesus taught. And you know what Jesus taught as well? Jesus said, the, be the most love you can show somebody, you know what he said? He says, if you, if you die for them. Sarah, you're talking too much, okay? Shh. Hey. Jesus taught, if you love somebody, the way you show them the most love is you die for them. And this is what Jesus did. Jesus died for us. He actually showed us the greatest love there was. Yeah? Who's grateful that Jesus showed us love? Yeah, I'm grateful. You're not grateful? No? I'm grateful that Jesus showed me love. You know, because because he showed me love, I get to go to heaven. If he didn't show me love, then I would be destined to go to hell because of my sin. Okay, so we have an activity today. You want to see the activity? You guys already know. What is it? Jeremiah doesn't know. What are we going to do today? What have I got here? Hearts. Two hearts. I got two. And we have a green one. I got a blue one and an orange one. So today I'm going to teach you how to fold an origami heart. Okay, and this one I've got one on here because you love the first and great commandment. It's to love God with all your heart, mind, soul and strength. You like that? Yeah? And what's the second commandment? To love your neighbor as yourself. Is there a commandment to love yourself? No. no. Because love is about other people, isn't it? Okay, so let's stand up and let's go to the back. And then I'll show you guys how to fold this. <laughs> 